Teachers with Good Intentions Once I left school, my two teachers visited my home to implore that I be permitted to continue my studies. The teachers told my parents, Toon is highly capable. His mindfulness, Sati, and wisdom, Banya, are unrivaled. We have never met a student quite like Toon. When we teach history lessons, he reads what is on the board once and remembers the entirety of it. He is skilled in addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, and is even quick with mental math. None of the other students can compare. We want Toon to continue his education in Udon Thani. We will help find a place for him to live and a school. That way, he will gain the knowledge to make significant contributions to the development of our country. As I sat there listening, I was filled with great excitement. I thought I was going to get to continue my studies. But my parents responded that we had just moved to this new house and we didn't have enough money for me to get an education. Once I heard that, I was very disappointed. At the same time, I understood where they were coming from and decided to focus on working in the fields in order to raise money for our family. Although I only had a fourth grade education, this was not an issue because I could already read and write. What determines happiness and success in life is individual capability and decisiveness. With it as a foundation, knowledge and intelligence are great additional supports. If you are knowledgeable, or even if you are comprehensively intelligent, but you lack decisiveness, you will not dare to make decisions. If you possess mindfulness and wisdom, but are hesitant and unsure of yourself, you will vacillate and lack self-confidence. With personal decisiveness in your mind, you will be able to make swift and resolute decisions because you greatly believe in yourself. If you have the guts to be decisive, the plans that will lead to success will fall into place. Mindful wisdom in comprehensive intelligence will immediately bolster this decisiveness. Thus, this decisiveness is a prominent characteristic in people. Children have their degree of decisiveness, as do adults. You must have strong personal decisiveness in your thoughts, speech, and actions in order to be a leader to others. If a leader lacks this personal decisiveness, even if they are knowledgeable and highly educated, it won't help them complete tasks. Whether personal tasks or tasks affecting society, they will be unable to accomplish or thrive at anything at all. Looking back to those times, I possessed this personal decisiveness. When my peers couldn't see eye to eye, argued, disbanded, or anything bad happened, I would mediate and get both sides to arrive at a resolution. I would use reason to get them to compromise and work together toward mutual benefit. You can't go on thinking that you are the only one who knows what's right. In a group setting, you have to learn to forgive one another. Using force to control others doesn't win you their affection. To win people over, you must first conquer your own mind. Once you have defeated yourself, you will be able to defeat others. True winning is about the mind triumphing over itself. In other words, defeating bad people with good deeds.